Hello everyone, uh, in this video we will make a sprinting so you can press left shift to sprint and then release it to walk. In the last video we made the character feel very smooth when he walked around and uh, looked around with his camera. Uh, so yeah, I guess let's start. First of all we will fix something that uh, I didn't in the last video and that is I can show you right now. When we walk around and look around, everything is very nice and uh, nothing wrong with it. But if you go into the wall and look down, you can see that the camera clips through the wall and like moves forward. And we don't want that. So let's just uh, fix this. So first of all, you need to go into the BP first person character or whatever you named it. Then you go into the viewport. And I can show you a little bit of a demonstration how it works. So when we look down, you can see that the pivot point on the spring arm is right here. So when we look down, the camera follows this pivot point. So when we look down, the camera is right here. And we don't want that, we don't want the camera to rotate just right here. We don't want the camera to change location when we uh, look around. So let's just uh, fix that real quick. So what you need to do is to get the spring arm and just drag it up to the camera level, like that. Now you can see that the camera is following the spring arm, so click on the first person camera and just drag it down to the same level as the spring arm. As you can see, that is the same level, so let's click on compile and save. So now when we look down, the camera will not change location, uh, it will actually just rotate the pitch. So let's test it out, click on play, go first finger mode, and now when you go to a wall, you can see when we look down, it doesn't clip through the wall. And that is because the camera doesn't change location when we look down and uh, up. So uh, the pitch is uh, just changing, not the location. So yeah, that was just a quick fix. And uh, now we we'll get on with the actual uh, tutorial. So yeah, let's go. Okay, now I will show you how to get the uh, sprinting. So go into your BP first person character. Just like this. Go into the event graph. And we'll just find a spot right here. This looks very nice. Then we need to get our button. So you can make a, a input action for it if you want to have controller and uh, the keyboard. But I will not do this for this video. Uh, but it's very easy. I can just show you show you how to do it with the project settings. Scroll down into input, and then action mappings, and you just. Uh, type sprint and then you take your uh, keyboard and controller input that you want to uh, sprint with okay so take your left shift I will use to sprint so search on left shift just like that and then we will need to take the character movement so it knows that it will change the speed of the character movement movement so drag it out like this then we will take this blue uh, circle right here and drag it out and search set max walk speed. Just like that. And we can duplicate this by clicking Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And then when we press the left shift, we want to change the movement so it is faster. And when we release it, we want to change the movement so it is slower. And uh, let's take this and also get it right over there. So now this too knows that it will change the speed of the character movement. So uh, I want it to walk in 300 and sprint in 600. Compile and save. And let's just out. As you can see, I am still running as I was before. But when we press on shift, we can see that I am still running at the same speed. And when we release it, I will walk slow. That is because the character movement max walk speed is 600. We need to change this to the max walk speed right here. So let's change this to 300. And if you have like 200 right here, you will change the 200 right here. And now we can test it out. So compile and save. Play. And we can walk. You can see that we walk very slow. And then when we press left shift, it will run so yeah that is a quick tutorial on how to make a sprinting 
so yeah thanks for watching this tutorial and uh, i hope i'll see you in the next one so peace